trainer, I've been sitting with these damned whale, whale carcasses for ages and still no sign of Steinfin. Either he's wrecked against the rocks or he's left me high and dry. I told Anke not to bring that bastard into this. Now I don't know what to do. Who else would be willing to buy this sword? Maybe we ought to take it back to Kertrol, then maybe Krach will laugh and let it all slide. <laughs> Remember how it stunk in the hut when the rat died behind Ma Mazenda's bed? Well, it stinks even worse here and it's cold. Right back soon, or even better, come, Rian. Uh. Well, we got the sword. I remember where Olaf is, which is the guy we have to return this blade to. Uh, I was supposed to talk to him to activate this contract, this quest, it's not a contract, but I never uh, talked to him at the end of the day. I happened into this quest and that was it. Fine then. I don't know why, but this reminds me of Riven a little bit. Oh. Thank you for that, seriously. Who made that face? You play! To see, it's a witcher, a monster snare. Eh? What's it doing here? Guys, it's a friend of the yarns. Maybe come to visit. Olaf is right there. Let's give him this sword. Whatever. Come on, guys. Hey, Olaf. What is it? Retrieve the property you lost. Could you? Thanks be to Freya. Where'd you find it? Northern part of the Isle, near the Whale Cemetery. Don't ask me how it got there, long story. At any rate, don't need to worry about the thieves. They won't steal ever again. Your reward, sure as hell earned it. And a lot a bit more from myself. If Kill you'd not been found, I'd have had to wash the shame away with my own blood. Eh, uh, yeah. I know. I will hold that thing. Wow, three experience points and twenty crowns. So, do you guys remember the hard times quest? Well, I have. Uh... Which one of you is it? I have. To give uh, deliver the letter to the smith at Kermo at Kertrol, the Kermoren. Oh my God! But you, I can't talk. To you. You're the blacksmith, though. Let's try this one. Doors need thumping. What about you? You're back. Was right, wasn't Yeah, I? I've bought a lot of stuff from this guy, but I don't have. It's not you, is it? So long. <sighs> what about you? Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Okay. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. <coughs> Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. 
There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet them, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Okay. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Muir Diablen makes me think it could be translated into sea devils or something like that. I couldn't really find this meat that needs the letter. I don't know why. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kierig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. <laughs> then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And then where the Eblin flipped the boat. Oh. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freya watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. You could be better off buying a flock, fleeing to the hills. Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast. Hmm. Sail straight and easy. Well, my dad's off fighting the black ones. We have this woman, maybe? I'm a simple chap. Seek no trouble. Tis true ah. this oh, come oh, on. I... Seriously. Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Chavilla, our son. He went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierad Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muira Diablin, sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Alright then. Would you Would you for man in need? I... Yes, just give me a second. Happening here. Nothing. She's just guarding. Do you see it?
There must be a nest here. That stench. Drowners for sure. Lair must be nearby. There's a cave maybe around here. This way. Fishing ground Rurik mentioned. That stench. Drowners for sure. Lair must be nearby. I don't know. Ooh. I was uh, visiting other places along the coast because I wasn't getting anywhere um, back there so I came up here maybe oh that's a cave all right then. We are probably going to find something in there. Well, the stench leads right there. So many stench again. Slime and rotting flesh. I think we are in the right place. Just saying. Oh, some dead people. That guy's an elf guardian. I think it's better if we do this. Huh? Where is that? A pelvis. Hmm. Scratched up. Long white claw marks. I hear them. Those are clearly drowners. Look at them. Ah, more drowners. What about these feet? They're the drowners' feet? They could be. I cannot really analyze them. Okay, I have Igni, so I'm alright. <laughs> I wanted to do that. I mean, I got in the middle, too, but it kind of worked. Kind of. Oh, 
it's a drowner that died there. I thought it was a something. What is this? Rusty piece of armor falling apart in my hands. Alright. <coughs> oh no. That stuff is already dark. So this is a circle. I mean, it turns around. Therefore, we need to go this way. <coughs> go on, go on, quick. Oh. All these feet everywhere. Human bones. Unbroken, but the marrow has been sucked out. Need a long, thin tongue for that. Lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Okay, we got somewhere. Almost untouched, hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. So, what is this? untouched hidden for later drowners just don't do that I wonder what this is I don't think I have any idea well it is going to pop up eventually bruises on his neck crushed larynx strangled mm. Sort of uh, peculiar bits of boats, torn sails, lines, sailing decor, you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Oh, got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here unless she coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. Hmm. Oh yes, we could. I don't understand though. Should I... How do I get into her lair? This way? Or do I burst this up? No, I don't burst this up, right? No. Oh yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think I will have to use Ard here to get her out or to enter myself, I suppose. That should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait. Behind those boats. You want to hide behind here, girl? I don't know. Which boats? Here? <coughs> Apparently here. Why am I using pheromones with a hug, though? <laughs> it's a Oh, 
she has a name. She coexists with drowners. Like a lot of water hugs that I've seen. Get out of my face! No, no! Okay, you need to do that, Carol. <laughs> when I tell you <laughs> to cast a sign, you cast a sign, please. Otherwise, we sometimes it just doesn't work. It's incredible. <laughs> oh well. It's a matter of probability. Can't complain. Well, I think we're done though, because um, I've taken all the loot that I could take in here, and I've killed her, so I think, I think we just need to go. Okay, so... What are you looking at? Nothing. Let's go get our reward. <laughs> Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast to sail straight and even. Job's done. Here's the proof. Now, why would I want to see... What the... <laughs> <is that? laughs> Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in me life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing <laughs> like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. <laughs> I deserve more. No, I'm fine. Thanks. So long. Ooh. No really? such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Only worthless fucking sails. <laughs> yes. Man, a boat needs ballast. The sails straight hmm. and even. What was the guy that was always asking me for help? Oh, there he is. It's about the time I talked to him. Where are you? You? Wait, where are you? It's not you. What is this guy? Got me high on you. You sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against a rocky shore June in the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. But... Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I should pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. I know we got a hundred and fifty gold. I could not believe his tale, but I'm curious, so what? Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You find me in the port district. My name is Johan Bonner. See you later. Uh, I have to go back there because I still have to finish the quest for the elf smith. My god. It's about time. Oh my god. Calm down, thing. It should be about time to go back to Novigrad. Right? 
Okay, so we're going to help this guy. I don't know what he's about. Um, we're gonna learn it now. Okay. Hello, Lothar. Who will I leave my home to the child that dies? Who will continue my line? Mind if I interrupt? Nay, my prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I, I am. Look, see it lying there? A horse head on the pole? That's... A nithing. Kind of curse, seen this before. There's nothing to scoff at, can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, and the name carved upon it is Tialva, my firstborn. Hmm. Boy's feverish. Grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but no. Hmm, interesting. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. Mm. No cure for trouble like a witcher. Interesting. That's his wife, probably. Alright then, let's... Um... <laughs> what? A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Somebody with no shoes. It must track back to the village. It's clearing up. Hmm. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. You're taking that up? Geralt, you're lost. You got stuck. <laughs> it must lead back to the village or... Yeah, because it's definitely somebody that has too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. It must be somebody that has a rivalry with him or uh, well a woman. Probably ex lover stuff. Oops. Feeling any bad? Aye. What's it you need? I don't know. Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. <laughs> nice door. The sorceress, Yennefer, right? Really, everybody's talking about a death. I'm weary of hearing about it. She's here? No. Here. Oh, you're right out here. Found your shawl near Lothar's house. 
by the knithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalv has got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. <laughs> oh my god, the one. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride. Ah, but he there cast it me is. aside for that flounder. Getting his come up and snow. Him and that whole plowing family. Do not get at your enemy. Do get at whatever he cares the most for. Still, you're a pretty ugly person now, are you?